In this lesson, I'll teach you a couple hand position and finger techniques that will help you play with more expression and lots faster. Let's get started. Hey there, I'm Andy Fling, the founder of MakingMusicFun.net. We create lessons for elementary level teachers and students. If that's you and this lesson is helpful, please consider subscribing. When playing the piano, it's important to keep your wrist relaxed and hands level with the keyboard. Try practicing with a quarter on the back of your hand. If it stays on, you're doing great. And maybe dad will be so proud of you that he'll let you keep the quarter. It's also important to keep your fingers rounded and firm so that when they strike the keys, they don't bend backwards. Your fingers should be rounded so that you're playing on your fingertips. When piano students are just getting started, they often have a hard time keeping their fingers rounded. The most common mistake is bending their fingers backwards. Which animal bends their legs backwards? Think pink. You guessed it, the flamingo. Bending things backwards is great for flamingos, but not for pianists, so no flamingo fingers. Playing with flat fingers is another common mistake. Who walks around with flat fingers? Right again, a mummy. Flat fingers are great for mummies, but not for pianists, so no mummy fingers. Let's wrap up this lesson with what you should do. Keep your wrists relaxed and level to the keyboard. Keep your fingers rounded and your fingertips on the keys. And practice with a quarter on the back of your hand until it doesn't fall off anymore. When you can do these three things successfully, you'll be on your way to playing more expressively and tons faster. It's time to practice.